Hi there, Joka here, and today I'm joining the Pinkfresh Studio Clean Stamp Stencil Dye and Hot Foil Release Block Hop um, with these cards. So, um, what I just showed you was my color scheme for today, and I have a few um, foils that could work. I will not be using all of them in the end. But you will see that in a second. So these these are the products that I'm working with today. Um, this is called Fall Garden, and it's a set of stencils, uh, dyes, stamp, and some new product, a hot foil plate. And these are sentiments I'm gonna be using. One of them is called You Sparkle. Then there's Thank You Very Much, and um, I think the third one was Best Wishes. They all come with a hot foil plate and a die. Okay, so let's start with the um, biggest, um, the background plate. This uh, this is Fall Garden, and I'm creating um, this hinge method that I learned from Yana Smakula, who is like <laughs> the queen of uh, hot foiling. And it just means that you add a washi tape to the die and or hot foil plate, and then um, you create a hinge so it's easier to keep everything in place. So this is what it looks like. And honestly, it's <laughs> I was really worried. I don't don't use my uh, foiling machine a lot, so. Um, I was worried that I'm gonna overfoil, underfoil. It happens all the time, but this one just turned out perfectly, and this one as well. Um, so this is gold foil, and I did this um, all of them in a bunch of colors because I didn't know what I'm gonna be using. And just back to the machine. I know it's sped up, but um, I hope you can uh, see what I'm doing. You just uh, have to wait until the middle button, this one that is now green, uh, is green. It's not blinking, so that means it's hot. You can put the foil, uh, the um, the plate on it, and then um, you set the timer button at the end, at the bottom. And when that's not blinking anymore, you can put your foil and the um, paper on it and then you can um, run it through your die cutting machine so um, this one is an orange I think actually it's called tangerine but I'm gonna check and link it in it's from Spabinders all these foils and what you see here what I'm doing um, this was actually not over foiled but there were uh, pieces of excess foil on the paper but these ones you can just remove really easily with a brush um, and then you have the perfect foiled um, image. Okay, so next step is that I'm die cutting everything um, except for these um, backgrounds, which I'm now going to uh, color, which is perfect. I don't, I really don't like coloring, but with these stencils, it's just fast and great. I'm using the sapphire um, ink for my first layer. These are the leaves. And then for my second layer, I'm going to use um, Stargazer, which is like a navy ink. And um, all right, what I what was I gonna say? I wanted to say something about the stencils. All right, I don't know. So uh, basically what I'm doing here is just flat um, ink, um, ink blending. I didn't want to bother small images, you know, I didn't want to bother with any um, shading and this goes really fast. Then I paired these uh, blues with some orange colors. Uh, this one is the darkest orange uh, persimmon and then um, a shade lighter is what I'm using now. Uh, this is called Clementine. I will link everything in the description. And what I love, oh yeah, I, this is what I wanted to say. Uh, what I love is that um, you can color over um, the the um, 
the foiled image and it's not gonna destroy your foil um nothing is gonna happen to it it stays just as beautiful okay so i'm gonna show you something here that in the end i'm not going to use um at least not the way i want it to i wanted to add some um white onto my um navy background now this ink is a pigment ink and this co this actually covers the um the foiling not all the way but um it's just gonna be faded and i didn't quite like the the look not when like here it's still okay um but then later when it dries and especially the flowers that i'm gonna do now um the colors are just not gonna be what i imagined so i added white first just so that i have a chance to actually have some color on that dark background but i did not wait in between steps so i did not wait for the pigmenting to dry which probably would have been a good idea so here i still have a relatively nice orange color but as it dries it's it's just gonna fade out the white i really like the, the way that looks but anyway i wanted to leave this in the video just um so that you see a different um idea on dark backgrounds but i'm not going to use these um for my cards so now i'm gonna die cut all my panels and uh, this die die cuts the bigger uh, pieces there's going to be a few uh, smaller um, images that it doesn't die cut but that doesn't bother me because I anyway just wanted to use the bigger ones and now I decided that I actually want to do some slimline cards which was not my first um, thought and for this I am using two slimline dies from Pink Fresh. One of them is the slimline stitches, I think it's called. This one, this gorgeous, gorgeous background. And the other one is the uh, diagonal stripes. Both of these exist in, or at least for sure, the stitches exist in A2 size as well, but I think the diagonal as well. I'm gonna link in everything in the description box below so you can easily find them. Uh, okay, so here, here I actually still quite like those white, um, white blue um, flowers, but then again, I'm not gonna end up using them. Maybe I like them because um, they are on white background, but um, I'm actually adding navy cardstock to that diagonal, so maybe that's why I didn't like it in the end. So now I'm creating my uh, card bases. I created two of these um, stitched ones and here I actually didn't notice that I uh, glued it down the wrong way or at least it's not the wrong way but for me I wanted the stitches um, point towards the top but now they are uh, pointing towards the bottom on one of them at least and this is what I was talking about earlier I'm adding the diagonal um, die cut onto a navy background and because I'd, i just wanted one card at least to be um not white so that's why i decided to have a navy one i didn't really have a, a card stock that matched the other blue color on the um flowers that kind of um royal blue i would call it so i just went with navy um now for the sentiments for all my uh die cut sentiments i um, die cut them again twice so i'm creating a dimensional element here and i've used um nina solar white the, uh, the 110 pound version and this this way it was actually really um dimensional because that cardstock is really thick and i actually use the same cardstock for everything that you see here um so everything is really nice and sturdy and i'm trying to figure out how i want to place these 
Um, <laughs> I was playing around with this for a while. I didn't really like anything, but then um, I will figure it out. You will see that um, in a bit. Um, yeah, so this is what I will go with, a kind of um, spread out design from uh, bottom to top kind of like the, how that looks and in this case I'm not adding any um, foam tape I'm just going to glue everything down and I am cutting off the um, the big leaf there I, it was just too much blue for my eyes so um, you know it, you can change all these of course, it's not going to be perfect because you have um, those lines where the um, the leaves are attached to the um, the stem. So some of that foiling you see there, but it didn't really bother me. So yeah, now I'm just going to glue everything down the way I um, planned, and then this card is almost ready. So, um, while I'm doing this, um, about the hot foil plate. So, in, so this is the first time Pinkfresh released a uh, hot foil plate. So this is the first time I actually play with them, but, um, they really, I, I mean, I, I was really, really happy the, with the way they turned out because I sometimes when I foil I have to do things uh, well a lot of times because um, I overfoil, underfoil there's always you know it's trial and error you have to figure out if you need shims um, or not but in these cases all all of them worked perfectly and I did not use any shims I just used the two plates that um, come with the Spellbinders machine so um, I'm really happy that turned out so well. So I'm just trying to um, add some some embellishments. I um, felt like the card was not finished, and I have these. These are my favorite. Um, I don't even remember what they are called, gems or something. Um, and these are the last ones I had, so that is why I'm not going to be able to put them on my other cards. Um, they are the mo most perfect blue. So, um, okay, so that card was ready. And now I'm starting to work on my second card. For this one, I'm using uh, another sentiment called You Sparkle. And this one is a, a mixed font fun sentiment and when you die cut it um, you actually get four pieces which is great because you can then mix and match you can um, use four different foils so it's really great I used two different ones a blue and a tangerine color unfortunately the camera doesn't really pick up the blue foil um, I have no idea why I'm really not great with um, photography so I don't know the reason the orange foil um, you can kind of see in, even in this um, at this angle so I'm now trying to figure out how to arrange my little flowers so at this point I already put away my uh, glimmer machine so I really didn't want to start over and foil more um, so I try to make it work with the one panel um, that I had. So, um, and this one here um, is different from the previous card in, because here I used orange or the tangerine uh, foil for my background um, um, image. So um, even though you can probably not really tell from this angle but I'm gonna show you at some point in this video the difference between the two um, and then you can compare compare them I really really love this <clears throat> tangerine foil I hardly ever use it because somehow I can never match it to any supplies that I'm working with but in this case 
I really like it with the blue um, stems. So uh, here I am adding foam tape, um, unlike on the previous card. And once everything is uh, glued down, I'm also gluing down my sentiment, um, which, as you saw, I layered up again, uh, like on the first card. And then once this is done, I'm just going to trim off the excess. And some you see that some of the pieces are quite big, so I found some some um, spot for some of them where there's the white empty spot. I just added one uh, little leaf. So here I was still going for the um, you know that design that I uh, laid out on the left, but then I changed my mind and because I didn't want to uh, take um, or you know unpack my glimmer machine again, I went with the um, cling stamp, which is the exact same image as the um, the foil plate, and I just embossed this um, navy panel with gold embossing powder. This is from Wow. It's uh, my most used powder. It's called Gold Rich Pale. And here I will show you this panel. You will probably not even see much difference. Um, or I thought I show it, but apparently not. But um, anyway, you, you don't even see much difference between um, the, the embossing and the the foil but in real life they look totally different so what i'm doing here um just to not waste what i already die cut before and stenciled even though you will not see it i'm just going to use it as a second layer um, under uh, the embossed uh, images and that way because this navy card stock is not heavyweight so this way that I uh, layer them up, at least uh, I can add foam tape without damaging anything. So I'm just gonna do that now. And I, again, trimmed off that big leaf from the biggest image because somehow I didn't need it there, but I think I might uh, use it in some other uh, place on the card. I'm not quite sure now, but I think I will do, I will do that. So um, trying to figure out a different kind of arrangement than um, I had on my previous cards, especially that this uh, sentiment is bigger. Um, it's quite large, so I'm just trying to see what fits uh, better. And here I think I only added one layer um, to the die cut so there's altogether two layers I believe and still it's quite um, thick. I only recently managed to find the 110 pound version of the Nina cardstock and I am so ecstatic like <laughs> I mean I love the 80 pound version as well for other reasons but this one is just so amazing and I think this was the first time I foiled onto a, a Nina cardstock as well. And it works amazing. Maybe this is also one of the reasons why my foiling is better, because the cardstock is thicker. It's also smooth, because sometimes I foil on uh, pattern paper that might have a little bit of texture. And then the foiling is not so good. So the cardstock is important when you want to foil. It has to be smooth. It, the smoother, the better. Another advice I got from Yana. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. All of them are uh, done. And the camera doesn't really want to pick up the um, shine. Maybe a little bit. You can still see. The gold works better. All right, so... There you have it. I really hope that I could inspire you to um, give foiling a try. I know a lot of you probably have the Glimmer machine, but just like me are too lazy to unpack it. 
just please do um, and give these uh, new hot foil plates a try. They are really, really great. I can only recommend them. All right. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.